11 minutes before 9. The first album by the Carpenters, Karen and Richard, came out in 1969 when Karen was only 19 years old. It uh, launched their very successful careers, but Karen Carpenter had a serious problem with anorexia nervosa, and last February she died suddenly of heart failure, apparently as a result of the anorexia. Richard Carpenter is continuing to produce records. The latest is a tribute to Karen, an album they did together. It's called Voice of the Heart. And yesterday I talked with Richard Carpenter and with his parents and Karen's parents, Agnes and Harold Carpenter. Uh, before we hear that conversation, let's listen to some of the Carpenter's music. College, all night college shows, they won everything. They went to the Battle of the Band, they won everything. The first time out, they won the sweepstakes at the Battle of the Band. And that all was the real big prizes. affair. That was the jazz trio. Yeah. The drums and Wes <laughs> Jacobs on bass and off the piano. And that evolved into, well, what's the right. the Carpenters. Right. And then Herd Alfred gave us our break in 69. Yes, he did. He heard the tape they did. And, uh, he liked it, and some of the songs Richard had written, wonderful parade, one of them, right? And the rest we know about. And that's mm -hmm. it. Just jackpot time. Huh? When did you start noticing, uh, Richard, that she started having problems, physical problems? Uh, well, 1975, so it was, what, four or five years later? Yeah, well, six uh, into our, our uh, career with A&M. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's when the but, yeah. but Mr. Mr. Carpenter, you didn't, was there any hint of any of that before well, that time? We never heard, heard of it. Never heard no, of it. No, I'd never heard of that disease. It, it just seemed that she was uh, determined to lose weight. Yeah. She wanted to be thin, like you see the models and everybody are. Sure. And so she'd get down to about 115. She looked perfect, but she told her so and so did we. She kept right on going. I know you're not a doctor, but what have the doctors said to you, Richard, about the, the, the uh, association between the anorexia and the heart failure? Have they have they pin, been able to pin that down yet? Or what the well, see, the only thing we've been able to put together is the the added weight at the end of Karen's therapy, mm -hmm. 30 pounds in roughly six weeks. And after she came home from New York. Well, it seems really to pester her anymore with eat, 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 you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But she ate a pretty good meal the night before this happened. We went out and she wanted a, a shrimp salad and she even wanted a taco of all things after she ate the shrimp salad and had her dinner. And we were together and she took it home. She served the salad and ate it and said, boy, that was good. And we watched show done for the evening that was off for mm -hmm. two hours. Mm -hmm. And then she went on, she said, I'm a little tired. And of course, she'd lay on the couch downstairs and watch TV while we were down there. And then she'd go upstairs. Her room was right above ours. And you could hear the heavy uh, mirror door slide, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In the morning, we heard her uh, slide the door. And I said, well, Karen's up. And I had to get up anyway. So I said, let's get up. And we went into the kitchen. And she had come down and hooked the coffee pot up, which I always fixed the night before. Mm -hmm. I heard her come down and hook it up. She went back up. Then I went out in the kitchen, he came out in the kitchen for breakfast, and she didn't come down right away. So I thought, I just wonder why. And I did call on the phone, and I have to so long, you know, you have to dial the room. So I dialed it rather than holler at her. She didn't answer, which was unusual. I went to the steps, she didn't answer. And I kept on up the steps, and she still didn't answer. And when I got upstairs, I thought I heard that closet door open, where she would go to get her robe. And she had just laid down the floor, like that. Just out. tied up. And that was it. I put her up. just gave up. And I called to her and held her and screamed to him for paramedics. And he got the paramedics over there so fast. Pulling me off, I rushed in, called Richard in a panic. He was over here just about the time they were pulling the ambulance away. We all went. They couldn't bring her back. What advice? Uh, 